listen to me, Aries. This is a wonderful time for you this month. I can't begin to tell you. April is your month. And the flow of Mars into Leo brings you inspiration which can come from young people around you or for doing something physical that you enjoy. Now, we know that Mars rules Aries and Mars is the energy that gives us follow through. So if you want to begin something, you will have the essence to follow it through this month. Self-awareness will help you to enjoy and gain recognition in your special areas. However, darlings, don't be too bossy because this attitude will get resistance from others around you. There's a little bit of energy around that. I choose a tarot card to uh, enter into that vibration and it's the Eight of Cups. Oh, do we love our cups? This is a card of destiny. It's an eight vibration and I often talk about the eight as the destiny because it's really a very um, uplifting energy of that we can get things done when our destiny's up. So don't, don't look for anybody else's resistance by being too overbearing. Just say, okay, um, this is what I think, but what do you think? And then it's like, yeah, radio, And then act and you will have follow through. And it's quite a, a beneficial time to find your purpose, to get into your purpose, and to be passionate about your purpose. So, very excellent thing. By the end of April, your practical attitude, with a little help from your intuitive ability, you'll make the right decisions and you'll find more inner peace. And that will give you the impetus to go forward and enjoy, darlings. That's what it's about. We're to have more joy in our lives, not this... Uh, you know, attitude again, I've got to come into. Aries is the pioneer spirit. And for all you darling Aries, you now need to be able to trust yourself and act accordingly. And it'll work out far better. There's a very good time coming in around you. So, enjoy it. And so it is. Till next time. everyone this is the psychic diva coming to you on youtube i'm about to give you a little information and knowledge and wisdom about a tarology energy that's a little bit of astrology and a little bit of tarot put together in my own inimitable way so that i can give you some information with a little bit of clarity insight and fun. So let's begin. The April overview for us all is, let's go. In April, Saturn retrogrades to a form and to form an aspect with Chiron, which creates an opportunity to create great changes in our lives on a material level. Saturn, oh, he's a biggie. He's the teacher and he's the lord of karma and time. And he shows us, when he's in a good mood, how to achieve success. How do we get him into a good mood? Well, let's choose a tarot card to see on that. What would we do? Ah, what we have to do is put out our hopes, dreams and wishes and have trust in a little bit of magic. Because between Saturn and Chiron, magic comes because there's a healing because Chiron is the wounded healer and it gives us form to change spiritually our connection to the oneness of the universe around the 12th of April this aspect also gives an opportunity for inspiration and a realization to fulfill your greatest potential now you might not start anything right at that moment but you can seed an idea and you can think what is it that I would really like to do? Also, at this time, from our experiences, we can understand others and our compassion will become more expansive and, and bring understanding. There is a lot of light and joy between April the 12th and the 22nd, due, darlings, to a meteor shower in the group's stars known as Lyra. Now, I don't know a lot about Lyra, but I do know about Vega, which is a star involved there. 
It's the blue tinged star and is often re referred to and known as the messenger of light and acts as a lighthouse for personal ideals and success. We will experience joy during this period, but of course that depends on our attitudes, darling, because sometimes our attitudes can be, uh, or we can be, ah, you know, is your glass half full or is it half empty? That depends on you. No one can affect that except you. So put on a happy smile and get on with it and get some joy going where you need it. Of course, Vega is known as chrysolite, also known as peridot. This brings healing and emotional balance and joy and well-being, darlings. Now, the well-being will particularly influence those who have this peridot as their precious stone in their astrological energy, and that it's all Leos. So little Leos, big Leos, get to it. This can be a really good time. So bring your positive attitudes out of the old back pocket and put them at the front and get ready to enjoy this. It's a very, very delightful time. I just want to choose another card for the energy of the outcome. Oh, look at I've chosen. Who's a clever girl then? This is a magician. This is the conscious channel. So what do you think and feel that comes from your uh, higher self can now bring in your hopes, dreams and wishes and you can manifest it. This is the card of manifestation. And with manifestation comes the hopes, dreams and wishes. All I can say is, darlings, we're in for a delightful time this April. So make the most of it. Remember, everything is up to us ourselves, the empowerment of ourselves. And a lot of us have self-esteem, worth problems. Now, we need to be able to utilise this energy that's very, very constructive at this point in time and get on with it, right? So trust yourself and listen to that inner little voice or that feeling that you get, that knowingness, and act accordingly. Good travelling, darlings.